Praise God. Today, this is part two of honoring the Holy Spirit. My husband, Dr. Anthony Bright. My name is Dr. Therese Bright. We're the founders and pastors of World at Christ Ministries. And we're going to continue this teaching on honoring the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's all turn to Romans chapter 6, verse 13. Romans 6, 13. Praise God, as we kind of reiterate what we said earlier, is that the chain of authority that you honor is God the Father is first, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, who is the third person of the Godhead. Praise God. And you honor your spiritual father, who is your pastor, mentor that God has put over you, and then you honor your earthly father. Amen. And, and husbands and wives have to honor one another. Amen. And then children have to honor their parents. So that's the whole chain of authority that God has set up on this earth. And nobody can change that. Amen. It's God ordained. Praise God. So we're going to continue to talk about honoring the Holy Spirit. And how you receive favor and increase in the presence of the Lord as you honor the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 6 verse 13. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under law, but under grace. What then shall we sin, because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Amen. What does it mean to yield? Whoever you yield to, that's whom you serve, that's whom you honor. Amen. If you don't, if you if you don't use to the devil, don't honor him. When he suggests things to you, say no, I'm not going to do it. It's contrary to the word of God. And when you yield to the Holy Spirit, it brings comfort, Amen. it brings pleasure, it brings intimacy, it brings contentment, it brings fulfillment. That's how we fulfill him. Our whole purpose in life is to make Holy Spirit comfortable. Don't make him miserable. Yeah. See, once we continue to honor it on ongoing basis, no one time honoring. It's a lifelong honoring the Holy Spirit. It's yes, lifestyle of honoring the Holy Spirit. Lifestyle. It must be a lifestyle, a daily, yeah. moment by moment walk with the Holy Spirit yeah. and honoring Him. See? And the more you honor Him like that, the more intimate you become to Him. The more He can share His secrets with you. See, to whom does He reveal His secrets? Also honor Him. Amen. Those who cast his word behind him, they don't honor him. Those who re uh, resist, provoke, tempt, displease, and grieve the Holy Spirit, they don't honor him. See? We have to make Holy Spirit what? happy. Stay happy. Happy. See? Then, he continues to draw us into the innermost part of his being. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit has a secret eyes. Deep secret has also deeper secrets in his hidden mystery of his presence. And whom does he draw, draw into his hidden presence? Those who will not hurt him or break his heart, those he trusts. So our trust of the Holy Spirit is the result of yielding to him on a continual basis. And that all brings the fruit of the Spirit. Once you yield to Him, you produce the fruit of the Spirit, which are love, joy, peace, temperament, faith, um, self-control, meekness, and on and on. See, this will manifest as long as you continue to yield to the Holy Spirit by honoring Him. We also honor Him by the way we speak mm -hmm. through our conversation. Thank you. We dishonor Him when we speak evil against Him or against our brother or sisters. For He's a silent listener to every conversation. Words please Him, so words grieve Him. Let's just. Well, what I was going to add to that is that it says, Those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. So when you're continually seeking God, you're fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit on an ongoing basis, then He's going to fill you. And that's how the presence of God increases on your life. It's the Holy Spirit that fills you up. And as you are a carrier of His presence, 
then, and you are in the right ministry under the right Godhead, and you're honoring God, you're honoring the chain of authority that God put over you, miracles, signs, and wonders are going to take place in your life. And you're going to be able to leave the church and go out in the community and minister to others that the Holy Spirit leads you to because you're going to be so sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Because the more you fellowship with the Holy Spirit and the more you honor Him, the more sensitive you become and your ears are open and it's easier then to hear what the Holy Spirit's telling you to do. And then the Holy Spirit will help you prosper. He'll help you do anything that you need to be done in the natural on this earth. He'll give you wisdom. He'll give you ideas. He'll give you uh, better ways to do things to make your life easier and comfortable. So the Holy Spirit comforts those who honor Him. And in these last days, there's so many people are wicked and controlling and um, they're easily offended. They have a lot of anger. You need the comfort of God in your life. And you need His presence to carry you through um, the turmoil that's going on in the world today. So the Holy Spirit will comfort you and put a shield and hedge protection wall of fire around you. But you will not have that unless you cooperate with the Holy Spirit and yield to Him as this, as it says actually in uh, chapter 6, Romans 6, verse 16. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey His servants ye are. So when we obey the Holy Spirit, we obey God, we are his servants, and servants receive instruction. Amen. So as we humble ourselves and become God's servants, then we're going to be open to receive his instruction. And in the yielding, as my husband said earlier, it's on an ongoing basis. Every day, every moment. There's nothing too small and nothing too big that you can't ask the Holy Spirit, and he will give you the direction and instruction as you pray, quiet yourself in the Spirit, and pray for yourself in the Spirit by praying in tongues. That's what I mean by praying in the Spirit. You pray in tongues for yourself, and you become sensitive. And the more His presence rests on, the, on your life, and the more you yield to the Spirit of God and not to your own flesh, then that's how it's easier for you to hear, obey, and follow the Holy Spirit's leading on an ongoing basis. Amen. Amen. Let's see Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Ephesians 4, 29. Ephesians 4, 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Okay. It explains what cause Holy Ghost to be grief, for all communication, or being critical, judgmental, about yourself or anyone else. Amen. See, it is, you are made by the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit made you. So, your friends or your neighbor, the Holy Ghost made that person. And anytime you speak ill, evil, or judge that person, because you are not told to judge, you are called to love. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, once you, you understand that, you don't speak evil against your neighbor because if you grieve the Holy Spirit, you will be offended and he may, he may cease to manifest, even though he's still there, his love, his grace, and his also his protection of our life. So the key is to honor him is also a, to love him, to obey him, and also a, to love your neighbor as yourself. So this is something, it's, a, it's not a suggestion, it's a commandment to all his believers want to be intimate with the Holy Spirit. If you don't know Jesus, pray this prayer. Say, Jesus, Jesus, forgive me my sins. Forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart right now. Come into my heart right now. Save me. And save me. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. For speaking against anyone. Anyone. Against anyone. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Purge me. Purge me. With the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And those who are sick, put your way of sick. You said the word of God to you to be made whole. Someone is being healed of my brain headache. Someone is being healed of cancer. God is healing someone, hallelujah, with stomach problems. Christ is healing so many people in our audience, hallelujah. You don't have time to go and check your physician and start doing anything you couldn't do before and give God all the glory, all the honor. For He is the miracle worker. We are not the miracle worker. Jesus Christ is saved yesterday, today, and forever. Amen.